So I've had a big problem for a little while now, ever since we took delivery of our Jeep 4xe hybrid electric slash gas uh, vehicle. And the problem is, is the fact that prior to having this vehicle, we had the Model S and Cybertruck. The only level two chargers that I have installed in my home currently are Tesla wall connectors. My issue is I've been having to use a level one charger, which came with the Jeep to charge the Jeep. So the battery on this Jeep 4xe is only 15 kilowatt hours and gets us about 27 miles on a full charge. Well, the problem though, is when you're on a level one charger, it takes about 13, 14 hours to charge, which is an extremely long time. So I've been looking for a solution in being able to charge my Jeep 4xe without having to buy a whole new level two charger and have it installed into my garage and having to deal with all that. Instead, I wanted a way that I can continue to use my Tesla wall connector and being able to use that level two charging rate on the Jeep. So a company called Electron reached out to me and sent me a Tesla NACS to a J1772 adapter. So I'm really excited about this because now I'm able to do level two charging on the Jeep and use my existing level two charger wall connector from Tesla and not have to do a whole new install. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna plug in the level one charger into the Jeep. I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. And then what we're gonna do is plug in this adapter into the Tesla wall connector and then show you guys how that's done and then plug it in and now see what uh, the car's telling us as far as charging rate and also charging time. So let's go ahead and get to it. So you can see here the Jeep charging cable that comes with the Wrangler 4xe is right here installed into a 110 outlet. The green light's indicating that it's powered up and it's ready to be used. This is the J1772 adapter charging cord that comes with the Jeep. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see what it tells us. So the green light's letting us know that it's charging. There's also a green light on the dash. One of the funny things about the Jeep that I always tell my wife is how, if you look at this, we have these two vehicles. One has the largest windshield you've ever seen in the Cybertruck. And then the Jeep has one of the smallest windshields you'll ever see. So it just I just find that to be super ironic. Then if you get inside, the Cybertruck has one of the biggest dashes you'll ever see. And then the Jeep has one of the smallest dashes you'll ever see. I mean, it's just about the size of my hand. So I just find that funny. But anyways, if we get in here, you can see that it's plugged in. It's stating that there's 2% battery currently. Estimated time to 100% is 13 hours and 45 minutes, which is just ridiculous for a 15 kilowatt hour battery. I want to see if there's any more information. Okay, so I wasn't able to find anything in the menus that will kind of give us some stats on the charging that we're doing right now. This is the only screen that I'm able to find that gives you any indication as far as the battery or anything like that. So um, I'm not sure if I'm missing something here. If I am, please leave me a comment down below and let me know where I can find some charging stats. But I can't find anything, unfortunately. I wish I could show you guys something, but I can't. Let's go ahead and unplug the level one charger and get the Tesla wall connector. We'll connect the Electron adapter and we'll plug that in and see what that looks like. Okay, so this is my Tesla wall connector that I have hardwired into my home. 
So I'm going to go ahead and, and get the NACS. And we're going to go ahead and bring it over. So this is the Electron Tesla to J1772. It does state on here that once you plug the adapter into your NACS, that to allow 30 seconds to pass after connecting the adapter to the Tesla charger before connecting the other end to your J1772 EV. So it just wants you to wait about 30 seconds before you actually plug it into the car. So let's go ahead and open this up. So here's the adapter. Looks like there's some paperwork. Just looks like there's a little pamphlet in there and the user manual. So that's all that's in the box. The adapter is bubble wrapped. Okay, so the first thing I'll tell you is that it has good weight. It feels sturdy. It doesn't feel cheap. It also shows, if you read this, that it has fast charging up to 48 amps, which is perfect because that's what we have here installed. This is not made, quick note, this is not made for supercharging. You can't buy this adapter, run to a supercharger and charge your Jeep or any other J1772 uh, vehicle um, with this adapter. It's restricted to 48 amps. So please keep that in mind. Do not buy this and run to a supercharger and try to use it on a supercharger. Okay, let's go ahead and plug it in. Pretty simple. You just grab it here, let it click. Now it's in there really nice. To disconnect it, there's a little button down here. Okay. Just disconnects like that. And then you're ready to put this back on your wall connector and you can store this somewhere nearby. What I'm going to do is go ahead and plug it in. Let's wait 30 seconds. Okay, it's been 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and plug it in. All right. Flashing green. That's good. That means it's charging. Let's go check the universal wall connector. It's also doing its green dance. Now let's get inside. Remember with the level one, it was saying that we were at 2% and it was gonna take us 13 hours and 45 minutes to get a full charge. Let's see what this is telling us now. So this is saying that we're at 3% because we got a little bit of juice and the estimated time to 100% is two hours and 16 minutes. So that is much, much better, way more convenient. I'm extremely happy with that. Everything's working fine. There's no errors. There's no red lights um, up here on the dash. It's flashing green. Everything's ready to go. So, so once again, this is the Electron Tesla NACS to J1772 adapter that you can use on your wall connectors at home. You do not need to buy a secondary charger if you have two electric vehicles. One is a Tesla, the other is a, another manufacturer. You no longer need to spend all that money and get another charger, hire an electrician, do any of that crazy stuff. All you gotta do is go to Electron's website or on Amazon. I'm gonna leave links to both down below and you guys can go ahead and purchase this if you're in a similar situation as me. So, highly recommend. Thank you guys. See you later.